Hey, what's up guys? What's up everyone? In today's video, in today's episode, I am going to do a quick comparison of these two versions of Thanos. Uh, which is, as you can see right here, I have the uh, Infinity War version and the Avengers Endgame. Actually, it has three versions of Thanos, which is that very first one uh, from that uh, movie Guardians of the Galaxy. But that one is not really accurate or maybe not that really movie accurate or scale. So I think this is the right uh, uh, version somehow. But then later, uh, I will try to add him on this discussion. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more future videos, right? So let's get started. First up, uh, let's talk about the head sculpt. The head sculpt is actually the same. So they didn't change any or they didn't create a new one or they didn't make a new one. Uh, for this Avengers Endgame, I wish Hot Toys could think of like battle damage, I think, uh, I would say. But then, uh, as you can see right here, they are totally the same. So there's no changes. So it's like reuse or uh, recycled or uh, remake. Even the size actually, you can see right here, that helmet, you can use use it for both uh, version. Right there, so right there, so yeah, so it's the same. So only, uh, I think the only change that I could see is that color. I think that's it. Very minimal actually. Uh, if you look at this closely or if you if you seen him uh, in person, you will notice the difference uh, just uh, so this one is somehow like uh, the Avengers Endgame more darker purple color and then the Infinity War is more lighter I think so but I think that's it okay, next up is the uh, the height comparison uh, they're actually the same also so as you can see right here uh, maybe this one the Avengers Endgame maybe a bit taller because of the helmet and then the base because of that base is a bit higher than the uh, base of Infinity War version but they're actually the same I think that uh, they use the same uh, body type inside uh, on their suits or armor so this one looks maybe looks bigger right because of that armor and this one maybe looks limp or more skinnier but then uh, I think it's the same the same um, same size or same width or same height so they didn't change um, only of course just additional armor for this Avengers Endgame so it looks bigger uh, what else I think the uh, one thing that I uh, noticed also is that waist that uh, the inside joint because this one somehow is a bit tight and then this one is you can, as you can see right here it's too loose uh, I'm not sure because of that uh, suit of Infinity War version is because it's so tight somehow there's no room or there's no space to move that upper body and also this one is not that heavy I mean the suit of Infinity War version while the Avengers Endgame as you can see right here this one is like so heavy this one is very solid guys I mean uh, once you touch it it's very solid and I, I feel like uh, this one is a bit heavy so that's why if once you move his upper body, it looks like wobbling, it looks like really loose. I think only that, that uh, the difference uh, is that joint inside this body, somehow it's different. And uh, yeah, it's too loose or also this one is not really tight. So as you can see right here, so there's space compared to this one, this one is more tighter. So that's why if you move his upper body, you can see right there that not that much of movement because it's so tight like somehow it's like uh, holding that joint compared to this one so that's why it's wobbling but I think it's the same material uh, that they use 
Uh, next up is the arms. Uh, also, this one I noticed that this arm, this version of uh, Thanos Avengers Endgame, somehow this one is more improved version eh, compared to because this one um, there are some uh, flaws or some I'm not sure how will I say that but then more of like a maybe factor defect as you can see right here the arms of this Infinity War version somehow it's different while this one is exactly the same this arm I mean the arms of this Avengers Endgame this one somehow it looks like more muscular while well, this one also muscular but like there's like there's a bit space on this hand of infinity war version this one is fine eh? but this one somehow like there's there's a big room right this one oh it's like you can feel um although this one has that uh, armor on his forearm but i can really feel that even the bicep part somehow it's uh there's like feelings or there's like pads or they added more pads uh, exactly the same now compared to this one the bicep of infinity war version right but i think the same size same size as you can see right here i can uh I, yeah i can really use the, the uh, shoulder armor to this infinity war version so um yeah i think it's the same size but of course this one has that uh, magnet inside so this one somehow it's uh Maybe a better, better version, I would say. Uh, yeah. So, but then the suit, their suit are both are nice. Of course, it depends on which movie you like the most, uh, Infinity, War, Infinity War or the Avengers Endgame. But for me, I like more this Avengers Endgame because of that uh, full armor. I mean, this one is better because this one is an improved version of this Infinity War Thanos. So next up, uh, the articulation. Uh, as I said earlier, the articulation of this Avengers Endgame somehow it's a bit of uh, you can hear. So it's not the normal sounds. Somehow it's a bit of like a scary to move. Though you can also like move his body to somehow facing to the side, but not that much. Sorry, yeah, not that much. Yeah, compared to this one. Right? You, you can hear this, those sounds not that really not that really delicate right? because I think because of that because of the tightness on uh, on his suit compared to this one but the articulation I think it's the same too even the side to the side the arms same here and this one is better the infinity war version because of that you can really like uh, rotate his arm up to at least 180 or 360 degree compared to this one is just because of the armor of course you might gonna hit that uh, that armor shoulder armor so maybe up up to just uh, 90 degree but I think it's fine uh, you know I think it should be fine but of course uh, it should be better if uh, you know you can do a 180 degree um, articulation for his arms and also that elbows you can see right here this one it's it's better to somehow compared to this one you can see once you fold that uh, that arm right here on his right arm I can really feel it so yeah so it should be the same but then um, just a bit better for me uh, this one even the form uh, also maybe because of that uh, that armor I think uh, let me let me check this one let me try this uh, let me see if I can really fit that uh, that armor oh it's, it's different it's not so you can see right there it's different guys see it's not fully um, uh, yeah this one I can see right here somehow that's why as I said earlier this one is in the, the improved version it's more slim more uh, more accurate I think compared to this one so this one's like distorted eh? yeah see you can see right there I don't I don't, I don't know if you can if you guys can see it so see and then there's a space for you to put that hand so yeah all right so I already showed you that uh, form that uh, this one cannot fit 
to this arm of infinity war version right and what else next is the infinity gauntlet so the infinity gauntlet the difference is um, the size first is the size you can see right here this one is somehow more longer than this Avengers Endgame this one is somehow the right I would say the right fit right because once you bend this one then yeah it's fully articulated up up to 90 degree while this one you can see right there that uh, once you bend it you see it's hitting that uh, bicep part so actually it has already some small damage right here because of this uh, infinity gauntlet so this uh, because this one is longer and you can see right here it's a bit loose because there's uh, space in here I'm not sure if it's movie accurate so but then again this one is better because of that uh, uh, articulation and then the right size both are uh, detachable or interchangeable hand right here close fist this one open hands or movable finger right here and then this one too is movable finger too so but this one also yeah interchangeable hand both are interchangeable hand it's just that this one you need two sets of batteries because of that uh, you need to put batteries here you need to put the batteries there if you want to have this uh, curl or molded uh, arm once you put uh, on his uh, body but this one of course it's not that easy it's not that convenient because you have to really like take it out that uh, that whole arm to you know to change this one while this one is just like that I mean you can you know use this one as as like this this form you know and then just change the hand it's very easy the difference also is that color the color of this infinity gauntlet is somehow more matte while this one is more shiny more shiny yeah matte color I don't know if you guys can see it bronze and gold this one is like all gold right both has that LED light up effect uh, both are strong has that strong LED light up uh, effect let me, let me try turn on that Let's see. yeah it looks strong though this one is a uh, like this one. yeah this one is an old batteries so that's why this one looks strong too but this one again this one is old batteries inside right so yeah so that's a difference for that uh, infinity gauntlet next is the joints here on their legs both are the same so the articulation they're actually the same the same on their legs are are the same so yeah you don't need to worry about that and then next is the feet you can see that this one's longer uh, the Avengers Endgame version uh, compared to this Infinity War uh, Thanos because this one of course because of that uh, armor so that's why it looks longer their base uh, I think this one uh, they use uh, that uh, dynamic uh, base and then this one is uh, like the that base for one for scale so this one's a bit higher so this one is uh, like this one better because of that print the print is better with that uh, bit of look of diorama well this one is just a simple one the logo Avengers and then the it um, of course the accessories of course the Avengers Endgame is uh, way better because of those accessories uh, the hands it has three interchangeable hands right here you can see right there this one also one thing that I noticed too is that in improved version of this fist as you can see right here yes this one oh, uh, this one looks distorted a bit swollen the fingers is small right i think you will not maybe you, you're not gonna notice that uh, but then i will say this one looks distorted okay and also this one is way better too again this one because of that uh, double bladed sword that very nice accessories right here Right, compared to Infinity War version, um, yeah, just the, the Infinity Gauntlet and the sits. Right, of course, this one extra gauntlet, but uh, it's fine. Uh, that's the difference between these two 
Thanos version, right? So I would say uh, this one is better or those collectors or those uh, who wants to get the Thanos or having a hard time to decide which one to get or which one to keep um, I will say this one is better at least way better than the Infinity War version again unless uh, you really like uh, Infinity War version or Infinity War movie then then this one is okay for you but then uh, if you're going to ask me my own opinion this one is way better uh, and the price of these two is somehow it's not that big difference because this one somehow when they released here this one is around 2260 or 2300 Hong Kong dollars while this one is 2500 Hong Kong dollars so just a few hundred or maybe 200 plus Hong Kong dollars then you know you can get this Avengers Endgame and uh, you have a lot of accessories easy access or easy interchangeable hand and uh, yeah well this one whole arm for that uh, articulated uh, or 90 degree arm right so and then also this one with the blade uh, what else yeah also the, actually this one has that uh, forearm interchangeable right here so extra if you don't like that uh, uh, without uh, without that infinity gauntlet so this one is nice too of course additional accessory right so both are nice uh, I mean like the the details both are nice because the same head scarf so and then the gauntlets uh, yeah so I think that's it All right wait wait let me let me get a very quick the for this uh, very first version you can really see the difference so the height difference right there right there right so yeah so as you can see right here the, the head scope is not that really accurate or maybe somehow maybe the hot toys um, doesn't really know yet uh, when uh, first uh, introduced Thanos in Guardians of the Galaxy right so the color I have it, it's been a while I haven't uh, touched this uh, Thanos uh, Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy version so uh, as you can see right there those uh, paint a bit of uh, fading out and haven't even removed the plastic so yeah so yeah I think that's it guys just a very quick one uh, already showed you already explained it everything so yeah let me know what you think about the, this video this comparison my comparison so if you like it uh, leave a like if you don't like it feel free to comment down below suggest you know uh, and that's it yeah thank you for watching guys peace out peace out